all this and, and followed it for a little bit and it turned me on and, and um, I'm here to give it everything I got. This is, uh, I said if this one doesn't work out, this will be the last go around and um, right now I'm feeling pretty confident that this one's going to work out. So uh, I'm going to work hard at it and give it all I've got. Uh, worked very, very, very hard to get here from being a young man just, uh, just trying to dream and, and, and think one of these days I'm going to do something cool. Um, one of these days is here, I'm doing something cool. I'm on my second rock bouncer, and um, it's a very, very been a very humbling experience. I'm very excited to get going. Um, it's just uh, the whole the whole thing is really, really cool. So if you got a dream, I don't care what it is, just uh, just keep chipping away at it. Um, you know, I didn't didn't dream about owning a rock bouncer, but I dreamed about doing something cool, and I'm doing something cool now. So um, that's my big deal. I, uh, I don't really, um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into the whole thing. I'm coming for everybody, or I'm doing this. We're just gonna see how the, how the chips fall, and uh, I can promise you, when I show up, I'm gonna give it everything I got, and we'll see if that's enough. It turns good. It stops good. Everything is, is good. I, I, I can't wait to get going. I can't wait to race. Uh, the guys that are out there, man, they are fast. Um, things have really progressed. You can look back and watch those videos and compare to what's going on now in, in the, the world of rock bouncing, and it's, it's night and day, really. I mean, it really is. Um, you know, bounty hills are race hills now, and uh, these guys are absolutely flying. So I cannot wait to get in the seat of this thing, get on the line, and just see where I stack up against Timmy. Daniel, Dex, and, and Brandon, all the, all the other fast guys that are, that are knocking it out of the park right now. As far as long-term goals, um, you know, more than anything, I, I want to be an inspiration to, to young people that, uh, that have dreams of going out and doing something like this. It doesn't have to be a rock bouncer or a drag car like I've been involved in before. Um, you may not ever make it there, but uh, you, I guarantee you, you won't make it if you don't. Just go after it. No, I didn't didn't dream about owning a rock bouncer, but I dreamed about doing something cool, and I'm doing something cool now. up y'all welcome to the hill uh i see dylan Patton, d patch photography already joining us in the chat here uh that video that you guys just watched was uh made by dylan Patton. uh the man is extremely talented uh he doesn't do a whole lot of video but if you've been watching uh paul wolf lately paul wolf's um social media uh that's all dylan so you're talking about a photographer who's getting into videography and, and changing the way that he does things in order to, uh, you know, help with the growth of the sport, the growth of racers, race programs and stuff like that. So uh, definitely support d -Path Photography as much as you can. Uh, the guy's doing great things for the sport. I see Taylor is joining us. She says, let's freaking go, baby. I know. I'm excited for this one, Taylor. Uh uh, I have been excited for the Gold Rush Reclaim for a long time, and it is uh, pretty cool that we're going to be able to talk to the new owner, um, Shane Christensen. I love Shane. Uh, he's family. Uh, always will be now. And But, um, you know, some, some things happen in life, and, um, you know, I, I hate that I've seen posts and stuff about how he – he bitched out or whatever and, and didn't race it. I, I just can't stand that because that's not Shane. If you know Shane, uh, he he did not take a step back. That's that's for sure. Um, Shane had to do what he had to do. And now we have a new driver um, who is going to be new to uh, a lot of people here, especially in the race scene. Uh, Dan is not new to rock bouncing by any means, but um, uh, he is definitely new going to be new to the race scene uh so with that said we're going to use this show uh as a platform to get it out there because when we're at events this coming year in 2023 
Uh, I want people to know that it's Dan Bowman that's driving Gold Rush now. It's it's not um, Shane Christensen. And again, again, that has nothing to do with Shane. I, I love Shane, but but uh, Dan is is gonna step up and, and race this absolute monster now. And uh, I want to make sure that he's getting credit for it. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring him on, uh, Mr. Dan Bowman. Uh, on the right there, we've got Miss Jersey in the middle, and then Clayton uh, over to the left-hand side of your screen. How are how are you guys? Good. How are you? Very good. Very good. good. Heck yeah! I appreciate uh, oh, Clayton. I am covering you up, boy. All right, I got you uh, moved in the screen there a little bit. All right, so um, we've been talking a lot about Gold Rush reclaimed, and you can see Gold Rush is behind you there, but. You actually got some rock bouncing royalty right next to Gold Rush. Uh, you want to tell us about that? The old elbow buggy here. Yes, sir. We yes, bought sir. that. Uh, we picked that up from my boys to race. Uh, Clayton, Clayton Smith is going to race it, and uh, my son Ashton Bowman, who he isn't here with us tonight, but uh, they're going to take turns just racing it and kind of getting their feet wet into the sport right there with me in a legit buggy i mean that that thing is rowdy you when that when that buggy came out uh if you go check out some of mad ram 11's old videos the first race that clayton hollingsworth raced at that i mean dude cole is a straight up tim cameron fan we all knew that right but when he saw that thing on the on the hill uh stony lonesome i think it was i can't remember somebody correct me in the in the comments but uh Cole was blown away when he saw that buggy, the way it did work. And, I mean, it's got a solid axle in the rear now. So, okay. you know, when Cole went on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I, what I'm talking about, it was still IRS. It was FIS, uh, you know, full independent suspension. But, um, uh, you know, it, it blew him away. It blew a lot of people away. And, and even Clyde Bynum, the president of the NRRA, that race said, if you keep racing like that, if this buggy keeps working the way it does, damn, it's it's gonna be uh, tough to yeah. beat. That's for sure. So, uh, very cool that you guys have that buggy. Very cool that you have Gold Rush. Yeah. And I mean, did just Christmas come in July for you guys? Like, what happened? Did you guys just? <laughs> you no. Know, hey, I, I want to talk about another family real quick. The King family. I don't know if you've been following the racing at all, but but uh, the King family has pretty much done what you guys did in the UTVs. But uh, Madison is, is racing in UTV classes, uh, um, uh, and then her brother. Oh my goodness, his name's slipping me right now. You're gonna whoop my butt. Uh, anyway, her brother is racing as well. I'm going to remember it as soon as the show's over. But uh, it's very cool to see a family all in like that. And they come and they cheer on and they help other people out. And, and I'm sure, you know, you guys will be you know the same way. But, but yeah, man, let's, let's get into it. Like, you know, man, that's a lot. <laughs> Nathan King. That's Nathan what we're, King. We're... Nathan King. Sorry. Sorry, Nathan. I love you, man. <laughs> I'm, we're, we're still learning the name, so we're not much help over okay. here yet. Yeah. You know, we're Everybody's learning. correcting me now, and now I'm never going to hear the end of it. It's just Nathan. <laughs> All it is is in the comments is Nathan King, Nathan King, Nathan King. Sorry, Nathan. Yeah. So I'm sorry, Nathan. So uh, you guys showed up to uh, Shane Christmas, or you contacted Shane. You saw the buggy was up for sale, right? How, how did all that go down, that transaction? Uh, I just, I contacted Shane and uh, he said there was a few people wanting it. He told us, you know, if we put a deposit on the buggy, he'd hold it for us to come look at. Uh, with his crazy work schedule and mine, it was, uh, it was kind of hard to iron it out, but we sent him a deposit. And I think it was roughly three weeks later, we finally made it out there to look at the buggy. And that, when I seen it in person, I just had to have it. You know, I've, I've been looking, been looking and, uh, it's kind of intimidating when I bought it, uh, jumping in with both feet here, but, uh, and I seen it and I was like, it's going in, it's coming home to Indiana with me. Yep. So Very cool. Here it sits. Um, you know, there, that buggy is brand new. I mean, you bought a, in my eyes, a championship. I mean, that, that is a contender as far as I'm concerned, yeah. you know, Shane built that buggy 
to be extreme, but to be rock bouncer extreme. So his buggy before that, if you knew much about it at all, the engine in it oh, yeah. was actually from a pulling truck or a drag car, but it wasn't a rock bouncer motor, basically. You know, we're talking about a fifty, sixty thousand dollar motor, and he put it in. He put it in the first gold rush, and it j- just wasn't a rock bouncer motor. You know, it wasn't designed to to do what he's doing. So the motor in that buggy that's behind you now, and I, I stop me. I'm, I'm really talking more for the people that are watching. You know, but I'm I'm sure you know a lot of this. But the motor that's in it now is a rock bouncer motor. It is designed to be in a rock bouncer, and it is just yep. as rowdy with less components on it because it's not forced injection it's all motor yeah you, you're talking about you know and it's not running on it, alcohol and you don't have to drain the alcohol out of it after every race i mean that's huge that's huge yeah it, it, it's running flawlessly yep. uh, we've been getting a lot of test time in it and i've seen you uh, it works oh, i've seen you i've seen the videos man that's it's good <laughs> you look like you're having fun too and that's that's the important part that's the important. That, that, that's what we're doing this season. We're 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 just in it to have some fun, yep. and uh, you know, we're, we're all motorheads. Uh, whether it's demolition derby or rock bouncing, we're into something. Cool. What do you guys do for a living? Uh, I I do seamless gutters. I own a gutter company, okay. and my daughter Jersey works in the office here with us. Dude, oh, cool. So it's a and family. Then, yep. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. And Clayton works for the, the neighbors up to us. You Clayton, you work for Riley. Riley Township. Okay, so uh, it's like, right. how how do we get you in? Are you you're not a gutter? You're not into the gutters? No. <laughs> okay. Can't get him in. I can't get him to come on. Hey, uh, <laughs> you know, it's all about that money, man. A, a big, <laughs> big enough offer. Hey, he he got you a rock bounce at a race, man. I mean, I know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if somebody it's offered not- me a rock bouncer, I'd be like. Eh. Okay, you can have your you can have your way with me. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's very cool. Um, and, and your business, owning your own business is going to make it easier. I, I think maybe not, but uh, for the racing, you know, have you guys been to the National Rock Racing Association events at all, or? Yeah, yeah that, that's what it got me. We've been watching for a couple of years okay. in the crowd, and okay, uh, I've kind of been walking around the buggies, and I've got the itch. I told my wife last year, I said, "I'm going to race next year," and she told me I was crazy, and here we are. So crazy I may be, but we're going to see. So Heck yeah, uh, you know, it's funny. Um, I'm trying to. I don't want to give away too much, but next year I'm I'm going to do a series uh, that's called "What's Wrong with You." And I'm basically just going to walk up to drivers and people that are involved with this sport and just be like, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? Why do you, why are you climbing that? What that you can't even walk up that and you're, you're going to drive up it. You know, what's wrong with you? That that's going to be a series Uh, next year. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Next year we'll have an answer for that. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we are opening at Windrock, which no matter what side they race on, uh, have you been to Windrock before? No, okay. no, we're new. Okay, so on both sides, they're just ginormous dirt climbs. Not a whole lot of rock, um, but they are steep, steep and long. So uh, there's right. there's two sides, and we have raced on what was the old side, uh, for the past two years and then uh before that we were racing around front which actually is a larger area that will uh, allow for more spectators so i think this being a season opener we may be over on that side because we do expect there to be quite a few uh spectators obviously being the season opener right. uh, and wind rock usually draws quite a, quite a crowd so um who, who knows we're but signed if you if you get a chance Wind, you know, Wind Rock videos, uh, High Octane Films, Mad Ram 11, those guys got, uh, you know, got it covered. So definitely do your homework for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be there. Let's see. Miss Taylor says, can't wait to get that debut footage, baby. Yep. <laughs> absolutely. Um, uh, 
can't we can't wait to get her some good footage. Yeah, <laughs> heck yeah, Taylor. What uh, Taylor gave me a bunch of mad mad face emojis. What do you, what are you upset about, Miss Taylor? What am I doing wrong? Um, yeah, reject fab. So you you want a reject fab buggy now? Those guys are serious about their reject family. They take that very very serious. Um, you know, have you been in touch with Justin or or Taylor or anybody, oh. Sean? Yeah quite a few times okay good and we actually just spoke the other day i sent him a couple of videos and of the buggy when we was out doing a couple of test hits and okay. yeah i mean i've reached out to quite a few of them and uh, just introduced ourselves good. and you know getting to know each other yep yep for sure and they've, you, they've all welcomed families so. you you guys you said that you're all gearheads and, and so on so will you do most of the work to that buggy if something goes wrong yeah. Okay. Yep. I mean, everything we handle. Okay. You know, we're we're gonna do the maintenance on ourselves. So. Okay. Um, but that being said, it'd be a learning curve. Yeah. But. I mean, first time owning a well, not first time. It's it's not your first time owning a rock bound. So let's talk about that real quick. Uh, <clears throat> I I don't have any pictures to put up, but uh, you have owned a pretty um, well known buggy in the past. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, we owned the, uh, the, it was originally Black Betty buggy, and uh, it was a fun buggy. Uh, we had some fun with it, and then I just decided for what I was kind of wanting to get my feet into, it really wasn't built for what we're doing now, right. so, or what we're going to get into. So we sent it down the road and started looking, and uh, we even explored the option of having a buggy built, but just never pulled the trigger on it. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I was kind of kicking it around. We come across this one that Shane had. Uh, I'm glad we. I'm glad we did. Yeah, I, I don't know that you could have built your own buggy and matched that. I mean, you. I don't know that you could have got much better, honestly. Uh, Shane and Reject Fabs and everybody had a hand in this yep. buggy. Uh, it's on point. Yep. You know, so far uh, during all the testing, um, it, it's on point. Yep. I have no complaints. Cool. So, I mean, you've raced in demolition derbies and stuff. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah we're, we all kind of do that here. It's a family affair there in okay. the demolition derbies. Too. All right. So you're not afraid to run head in, head strong into something that's, you know, like a brick wall? Because <laughs> that's pretty much what you're uh, going to be doing. You, <laughs> yeah. Usually I'm, I'm doing it in a minivan. So it's yeah. quite a bit of a difference. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be strapped in and a whole lot safer than in that minivan uh how, but what yeah. i'm saying is, buggy, is some of the hits, buggy feels a lot yeah yeah, yeah i bet it does i bet it does uh <laughs> yeah but you're you're gonna we, be we take this buggy up over the minivan <laughs> uh justin wills 2021 rookie of the year asks what state you guys are from uh, we're from indiana little town of brookville brookville indiana um, have you seen the full NRRA schedule? Um, I mean, you signed up for the year, so I'm assuming you have. Are, is it going to be a long haul? Some of those races. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What's the, the word. What's the longest one? Mid America. I don't know if it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mid America or you know Arizona or Disney Oklahoma. Uh, I don't know which one's going to be the first. I haven't really done the mapping on it yet. Well, did you say Arizona? We're we're definitely not going to Arizona. Thank God. I'm in the wrong state. Then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, D Disney uh, is in Oklahoma. Yeah, that'll that'll be finals. It it's not. It's Mid America. It's not far. It's 15, 20 minutes from Mid America. So. Right. Right. Yeah. That that's probably the one I'm thinking of without having to list in front of. What? You know uh, Justin Wills, the gentleman that just asked the questions out of North Carolina. So it was 18 hours pulling uh, to go to finals. I rode with him, so I. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, how how long do you think your longest ride is going to be? Uh, it might be around. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. It, I mean, it I, might be close. I've got the schedule and I signed up for it, but I haven't worked on even mapping them out okay. yet. I okay. just, yeah. I was, man, we're we're just going to do it. Yeah. 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 I'll look at it time I got to leave that Friday morning or Thursday, and yeah. uh, we're going to be in the wind with it. Yep. Yeah. Good. Well. That's a good sign because uh, if 
if you were like most normal people and tried to budget and, and everything, you'd probably quit or lose your mind because uh, <laughs> the, the, the going saying is, you know, how do you become a millionaire? Well, you start out as a billionaire, then you get into rock bouncing and you become a millionaire because you spend so much money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good saying. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? And too. Yeah. And uh, you know, we we saved and got financially where we can put it down and try to get our feet wet and racing. Well, that's awesome, man, and congratulations on that too. And and I, I will say that uh, you know the majority of the folks that are in this sport are hardworking, red-blooded Americans, tax-paying, just good good old good people really good people and it's uh um the king family you guys i mean it's going to be cool to have you know have uh, some f- more families that are that are getting you know involved and uh keep to keep it going you know keep that it's family great. atmosphere you know uh mark isle says looking forward to seeing you guys on the hills one bad buggy that's right mark <laughs> yep thanks <clears throat> um yeah, a lot of, uh, yeah, Justin says best family is the off-road family. That's right, Justin. Um, there's a there's a lot of folks that come into this sport and, and uh, try it out, and it's not for them. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But there's a lot of folks that get involved and they get hooked. And, uh, and they may not ever win. They may not ever stand on the podium, or they might and but just not a lot. Uh, but it's it's not about the winning. It's not about the money. It's not about the winning. It's about the family. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. That's for sure. Um, I was in the military. I, I like I said, I deployed a few times, and you get used to relying on those people every single day, day in day out, especially when you're deployed. You know, and that's those that's the same it's the same feeling in the rock bouncing community the off-road racing community it's the same type of feeling you know and that's why it's been such an easy transition for me because i feel like i went right from you know one group of caring people that had my back to another group of people that had my back so uh it's very cool very cool you guys are going to be involved in that next year and and the fact that you're just jumping in head first you know yeah we're looking forward to it, and we're looking forward to just meeting everybody and uh, you know racing and trying to finish each hill and having a good time doing it. Clayton, I, I mean, how how have you driven that buggy much yet? Yeah, not much. I mean, we took it out the other day and yeah, okay. got a little hand on it. But okay, cool. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Leave that rear steer alone, man. Just climb, just just climb the hill. Yeah, yeah. People get That's in trouble with that rear steer, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You only need it. You only, you only need, need it. The hill yeah. What what's yeah. the terrain like around you guys? Do you have places that you can go ride? Good decent hills you can play on? Yeah. Cool. There, there's a couple parks around here, but I mean they're they're more a lot of topsoil, you know. You get some steep grade, but okay. uh, we gotta head down south to get some of the bigger lip and the ledges and Okay. Yeah, you know, the actual course that we're going to be racing on. Yeah. You know, so. Do you guys have a home park at all? An off-road park that you guys go to? Yeah. Yeah. There's a place up here called Haspen Acres, which, I mean, it's everybody says it's a little beat-up park, but for your normal rigs, it is. But for these, uh, we go up there and do a little terrorizing, and you know, just get the feel for the buggy. You know, on all that, it ain't all about climbing the hill, but yep. it's learning that power and get the feel for that thing. For sure. So, uh, it definitely feels good, though. I mean, that, it feels real good. Absolutely. Um, what is it like uh, hauling around? Because didn't you buy Shane's motorhome and trailer and the whole nine yards? Don't don't you have the whole Gold Rush package? We have the trailer out back, yeah. and we're going to get the motorhome here and. Okay. Uh, you know, a few weeks, two weeks here. Shane was just home over Thanksgiving. We talked about it, okay. and uh, he had to go back out for work. So, uh, yeah. but we are purchasing that. We just got to go get it still from Missouri. But okay. yeah, we're it basically be the whole nine yards. So when you're, I mean, I know you've owned a rock bouncer before, but when you're rolling up 
anywhere with that trailer, <laughs> that buggy in the back. What's that like, man? That's got to be fun. And it, it? Yeah, it's fun just to, just to see people's faces, mm-hmm. you know, because he, he had the trailer logoed out and uh, all that, you know, and everybody looks and everybody wants to take a peek inside. And, oh, yeah. You know, what's in there? That, is that buggy in there? Not, not that exact buggy, but there's one a little better than that. <laughs> yes, there. sir. Yes, sir. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, now now when we get the murder home, you know anybody that knows Shane, you know that you're 80 feet long rolling down the interstate with a, yep. a murder home and that trailer. Yep. So uh, yeah. we decided we was gonna sign up and go for all the races. So that's why we're you know we got the murder home and we're we're just gonna travel, man, have fun with it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, uh... What was I gonna say? Uh, if anybody in the comments has any questions for for these guys, man, I, I haven't really been paying attention much. We got thirty or forty people in here watching. I appreciate all y'all um, hanging out with us. Sean Hudgens watching from Reject Fab. Thank you for joining us, sir. Taylor's in here as well. Um, so, how did you guys? How did you even get started in in off roading? I mean. Were you a kid and just like the rest of us riding dirt bikes and four wheelers and stuff? Or yeah, yeah, yep. just we started up probably all of us on dirt bikes and a four wheeler, and I went up to go karts and you know small buggies, and we, we have a small fleet of samurais cool, around here cool. on top. We were into rock crawling big time, yep. and then we got the first Black Betty buggy with our first horsepower buggy, mm-hmm. and that kind of sparked a new interest and. Now it's kind of really progressed from there. How, did, trying to how, ease my own. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, I said trying to ease my own mind with this whole horsepower and the interest of all this new buggy and racing. So, okay. Yeah, uh, I could see that. Yeah, for sure. It's just progressed from a, a 50cc dirt bike. <laughs> that's, that's wild. That's, yeah, that's what I started on. Um, uh, how did you first hear about? rock bouncing or see rock bouncing like the rest of us watching mad ram 11 and what was it uh, yeah I, w- I was actually at bubble fest a well-known event in kentucky yep. t- i don't know eight or ten years ago and a boy had a rock bouncer one of the first ones i ever seen and i seen him go up the side of that hill and i'm like i've got to get one <laughs> uh, always been in my head ever since and, uh, i'm in a 60 horsepower samurai trying to follow that guy and it just didn't work so like, i've got to get but that's what uh, that's what led us into i started watching videos and uh, we started going to the races and watching them and uh, it's just evolved from there over the past five years you know i've been going to the events for five years now okay. just watching and you know, hoping one day one day i can race what, what was your favorite event that you've been to so far <clears throat> Oh man, we've been to whatever. yeah. We've been to Wildcat a couple times. We was down at Blue Holler, yeah, yeah, or Hollywood oh, okay. this year. That was a good, okay. good time. Cool. And uh, you know, them are two closer parks to us. Okay. And then I think Blue Holler's Mammoth Cave. That's yep. not too hateful for us. So, you know, that's a, I like Blue Holler. You know, I like the park there a lot. So, yeah, the, um, that but waterfall. I can't yeah. That waterfall Man. is rowdy. I was up on the trailer, the production trailer, when DC climbed it, when he made it up to the top. Uh, that same day, I was up there on uh, D-Pat's photography, actually. He's got a, a picture of this, of uh, Bobby Tanner hitting it and screaming blue and just yeah. destroying the front end. Uh, and oh. I... Man, when he hit, I felt, I mean, I'm up on the production trailer, and it shook the ground. Like, I felt it in my feet. It, he hit it that hard. It was, really? that was a wild <laughs> day. That was a wild day. Yeah, for sure. That's a wild waterfall. It is. I mean, I've watched a lot of that thing. And, yep. Uh, you know, I've watched a lot of videos just, you know, in the past year or two since we decided we were going to try to race and just to learn in the parks and you know, we can't wait to get down there and see them in person. Oh, for sure. A lot of these parks we been to. Yeah, uh, and we got <clears throat> one one new one for sure uh, in West Virginia. Good evening, Ranch. I haven't been there yet before. Um, Clyde went there weekend before last. 
uh, to, to check it out. So it's going to be real rocky there. But uh, so that's that's I've cool. Seen some big- yeah. yeah, that's yep. that's cool that you guys are going to be a part of that. Yeah, for sure. Yep. We, like I say, we can't wait to just see the new parks in general, let alone get to actually race at them. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, this is this is the start of it, too. You know, uh, there's a lot of perks that come with being a seasoned driver with the National Rock Racing Association. You know, you get help with uh, content, you know, if, for your social media and so on. Are, are you on um, – are you, you know, going to have a Gold Rush Reclaim – social media accounts or what are you what are you doing for that well we, we haven't really decided and come up with all that yet I mean, yeah you have they have a reclaimed racing page yeah that kind of covers both of them okay so. um yeah. we're new to all the social media and all the everything that comes with it okay so well like i said if uh if things are the same as they were last year which i, I don't imagine they can't imagine they wouldn't be uh if you're a seasoned driver you get access to all your content your runs you know what i'm saying so if you want those for to post later on or whatever um <clears throat> there's also the possibility of being on the highway to the hill show which is uh, a series that we were doing that we are doing this year that we did this year where uh myself and d-pats we invade your home life and and uh come to work with you and stuff like that follow you around and and uh, i think i sent you a link or two for some of those episodes so you kind of get a clue as to what's going on there but um so there's a lot of perks to being a seasoned driver uh, and a lot more of this stuff what you're doing right now awesome yeah yeah you you said we'll get used to you with the camera so yeah this is break the ice so (laughs) yeah Yeah. no you guys are doing great uh mark guile says wind rock is a good time i agree mark um great viewing no matter where no matter what side you're on i i feel like great viewing i feel like the front side is a little bigger and i will hold a bigger crowd but we've uh, we have crammed some people into that backside and uh it it really makes for good video footage because it looks like we have four billion people there so yeah, yeah it's, it gets real dense <clears throat> people in their uh, folding chairs you know si- elbow to elbow yeah, that- <laughs> That'll be the next icebreaker is the, the first race day, mm-hmm. getting that out of our, yep. you know, uh, I'm sure every driver's been through it. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I can, I can say that I have, uh, I have raced before, so I can, my experience I, with it, uh, was a lot like yours. Like what, what you're talking about, you know, next year is just going to be for fun, you know, chasing points, yeah. you know, you're doing it just for fun. So just when you start to get those bubble guts and and uh get you know get nervous just tell yourself hey yeah man, i'm just doing this for fun so yeah that's that's what it is if, if it progressed more than that in the future that's fine but this year uh we're you know we're, we're just wanting to have some fun with it and see where it goes good good i don't want to brag or nothing but when i was saying that to myself i actually got the 2021 run of uh, wildest run of the year award uh after, after telling nope. myself that, yeah, never driven a rock bouncer before. Got in and it was at Bikini Bottoms, and it was the uh, the run up the up Trump's wall and, and coming back down. Yeah, I couldn't reach the brake pedal. Yep. Oh, <laughs> so you have that. You you know Bikini Bottoms, right? And how big that place? I know you haven't been there, but it, I mean it's yeah. it's a solid two hundred foot straight down, and. Uh, you know, I had a few I, people. I landed it. <laughs> it, it stuck the landing. Huh? Yeah, I stuck the landing. That's right. I finished. I got a time. I, I think I got 11th that day, actually. So nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, people buggy down to that this year, but uh, we we just wasn't ready for that. So with that, we had the ECU out of it for a minute. Had to send that back to fuel tech. And, okay. Cool. So it was down for a little bit, but uh, we're good to go now. Awesome. Um, Miss Taylor says, are you getting any Gold Rush Reclaimed merch? Because if so, I definitely want to grab some. I second that, Taylor, for sure. If you, you know, when you guys start getting, if you, if you are doing uh, shirts and stuff, for sure. Yeah. I mean, my, do- my daughter's brought it up. Good. We kind of leave charge of that. Um, so. Uh, 
I, it's cool because all everybody wears everybody's shirts. So when a driver race team gets a new order of shirts that day, yeah. everybody has that shirt on because they go awesome. and they give out their shirts and stuff. So it's it's pretty cool that uh, everybody wears everybody's stuff. You know, they they're representing uh, sure. everybody. It's it's very cool. It's it's a cool environment. Yeah. yeah. Um, Taylor says that's that's what it's all about. More than anything, having fun and enjoying what you're doing. I totally agree, Taylor, for sure. Uh, I agree and, too. And Mark says record time downhill. Yeah, yeah, it was record time yeah. downhill. <laughs> it, it's funny because I couldn't do. I, I it was smoked out the buggy, and Daniel Heckley was the driver, and he's like six two, and I'm five six. So it, you know. You know, we, we tried to shove pillows and stuff behind my butt, but no, no. Yeah, that's quite a, quite a height difference. You yeah. couldn't reach the break. Yeah, I, I couldn't reach the break. But you know, it was a race, right? So I wasn't trying to slow it down. You know, when am I going to slow down when I'm at the top of the hill, you know? <laughs> Got to make uh, up time somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Mark says, Taylor, they may trade for some fancy reject fab merch. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm surprised you guys aren't all rocking reject fab shirts right now. Well, well, we don't yeah, we, yeah, we don't even, yeah. we got to figure Ta- out where to Taylor. What, what is the deal? Reject family? What man? <laughs> Taylor, she says she'll trade. <laughs> That's good. Um, we'll, we'll go on. It's like when we hang up here, we'll, we'll get our order placed. Justin Hoback, uh, Hoback Racing. Justin is huge in our in the National Rock Racing Association, a huge part of it. Uh, runs the starting line. He also uh, runs the RC class and uh, has a big uh, role in the kids' UTV class as well, the youth, okay. the youth UTV class. He says uh, he's excited uh, to welcome a new family to the National Rock Racing Association. So, um, thank you. Yeah, Just, Justin's good. Good people. Um, he is actually going to have an episode of uh, Highway to the Hill coming up here pretty soon. So, be on the lookout for that. His daughter races, um, uh, and her. I can't remember how old she was. Justin, how old is Clara? But anyway, she, you know, she's just a little thing, but she gets out there and races those kids. Those kids are, are awesome because they show up and, you know, they've already got their fire suits on. They're just ready to go. And, and uh, it, it's very cool. It's very cool to see that. She's seven. Justin, thank you. She's seven. Awesome. She is. That's seven. awesome. Too. Mark says Taylor's being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see. Miss Connie says, hey, y'all, John Russell and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, No complaint. Let's see. Taylor says wrong. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah, so you guys will be getting plenty of shirts and stuff to wear. I, I don't even buy clothes anymore. I just go to the races. And I'll come back. Yeah. And it, it's gotten to the point where my closet is just overflowing. So when I ask if when they ask me what my size is or whatever, I just give them Claudia, my, my girlfriend, I just give her her size, you know, or my kid's size yeah. or something. <laughs> you know, I, I don't need any more shirts. <laughs> no, nope, nobody ever know. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing my Gold Rush shirt today, though. My, I see that. Yeah. Me, old school Gold Rush. That was that was the first Gold Rush. But, yeah, that's a cool book. It was. Did you ever get to see it in action? <clears throat> no, I don't think I. I was in it in the porch where that buggy was at, but uh, I've seen see. all the videos. Okay. I mean, yeah, twenty twenty, I think, was his last season, full season, anyway. So, yeah, plenty yeah. of video of it, though. Plenty of video, for sure. Oh yeah. Well, listen, guys. Yeah, I, me- I remember. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I remember when the Gold Rush first buggy come out, I mean, I was watching every video just to listen to it. I mean, that buggy, when it makes a hit, it sounded really good. But it was Man. just too much of a too much of a pro drag buggy. I I, uh, I was at Windrock when they debuted that buggy, and 
you know, uh, there was another buggy that was debuting that day as well, and that was a reject fab buggy called uh, Money Shot. And it had a, it still has a very unique turbo exhaust setup. And <clears throat> he fired that up and was revving it up. And, and we're talking about Wind Rock in the front side, where I'm talking about there's a lot of space, a lot of room. So he was way out on the other side in the camping area where all the uh, drivers were at. And he was revving it up, revving it up. But when Shane pulled Gold Rush out of the, out of the trailer, and I, uh, I knew it was Gold Rush. Yeah, I, I've heard monster trucks before, and monster trucks are loud, but Gold Rush was just loud. And when he, his first run, I was standing right next to the starting line, and I, that was the last time I stood next to the starting line when Gold Rush took off because it was bad. It was loud, very loud. Yeah, I, I, I never got to hear the first one in person. But uh, the the reclaim buggy, it's it's pretty loud in person wow. too. I don't I don't pairs up, but to me it's it's loud. Yeah, uh, okay. there's just something about those, you know, zoomies. I mean, they're not really zoomies, I guess, but that exhaust pointed right at your chest. I mean, for a you know a normal sized person, it's pointed right at your midsection, yeah. so it hits you. That the you know that exhaust, the sound, everything, and it, it is, it's rowdy. Yeah. It's loud. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We can't we can't wait to get it on the hill, man, and have some fun with this thing. Uh but I, I don't wanna discount the outlaw buggy either, man. Uh that thing supercharge L S, right? I mean yeah. Yeah. it's uh I've had it out playing in it quite a few times myself, just uh playing around and it, it surprised you. Yeah, oh, yeah. For for an older buggy. Yeah, no yeah, it, doubt hold its own oh yeah yeah there's a there's a lot of talk it's outdated but for for a starter buggy and what we're doing uh these boys are gonna have a great time yeah oh i, I know it yeah for sure absolutely uh justin hoback making a, making a comment about the the first gold rush at that season at the um wind rock race that i was talking about and he said he felt like he got shot when he took off justin runs the starting line you know you see just out there one two three and he tells you to go yeah <laughs> He was standing right, right in the way. So nice. Well, listen, y'all, this has been great. Uh, is there anybody that you need to thank for all of this? And, and, uh, you know, I, I try to give you guys the floor to just say, thanks, give thanks. I think it's important. There's gotta be somebody out there. Yeah. We, we thank everybody that's, you know, we have got a couple sponsors, small guys around here that's in with us, you know, Good. Just helping us get everything in line. Excellent. And, uh, you know, Shane for everything he's done for us. He's been super helpful. And, uh, you know, Reject Fab and all the family with them. You know, we've touched base with a lot of them guys. And, uh, you know, we've had a ton of questions. So they've all been very helpful. You know, just, hey, you know, walking us through it pretty much. And, uh, you know, it's been a learning curve. But, uh, you know, we're just, we want to thank everybody that's supported us and even, you know, give us any type of hand with them, but yep. that's awesome well uh i sure do appreciate you guys coming on um jersey clayton i mean you guys taking time out of your your day and, and stuff to come on and, and hang out I, I sure do appreciate that um i always extend a uh, invite back so as the season gets started and we go go through some races and stuff uh, i'll probably ha ask to have you guys back on just to to check in and, and see what's going on. Uh, Miss Taylor says, see y'all at Windrock. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Yeah. Looking we'll see you there. But, um, yeah, Absolutely. you guys are, you guys are welcome back on. And, and like I said, at the races, uh, I'll be shoving a camera in your face all the time too. So, uh, you know, the, the, Dylan will tell yeah, we'll, you D-Pass will be a little more used. Yeah. You're never safe. Just so you know, you're never safe. So, <laughs> so, if you're doing something funny, be prepared to, for it to be either a picture or on camera. I'm just saying. Yeah. We'll have a lot of nice shows. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're kind of comical in our own little clique here, so we, you, you, I'm sure you'll get it We all. love that. that. That makes for good TV. That makes for good TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Well, listen, this has, been awesome. a, this has been an absolute pleasure, you guys. I, I, I'm 
I'm honored to to have met you guys tonight and and really looking forward to next year. I, I, I always look forward to it because I'm a bouncer fanatic, but but um, I'm really looking forward to next year and, and seeing you guys out there. And, and I appreciate your just jumping in head first. That's that's what this sport needs. It needs folks like y'all. And, and uh, I'm excited to make you guys a part of the, the circus. I, I call it a circus. I mean, it really is pretty much a circus. We roll into town, set up this... Uh, I mean, Clyde turns a mountain into a racetrack. It's it's unbelievable. In just a matter of a, a few hours, maybe a day, you know, uh, we set up, we do the whole thing. People come and watch, and then we tear back down. We roll out. I mean, it's pretty much a circus. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> We're glad to be part of it. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. we'll see what we can do next year with our <laughs> circus act, and we'll yep. yeah, definitely get in there with you guys. That's awesome. Listen, you guys have a great night, and uh, I, I look forward to talking to everybody very soon. All right, thanks All right, for having us. Thank All you. Right. See, you Nick. See you guys soon. Dan Bowman, his daughter, Jersey, and uh, son-in-law, Clayton. How is everybody doing? Hanging in there? I, I appreciate everybody watching tonight. Um, uh, I don't have anybody signed up for the rest of the week. I'm going to take this time and work on uh, some of the episodes of Highway to the Hill, uh, as well as some other projects for uh, race programs, you know, Rock Bouncer race programs and, and um, those affiliated with the sport. So we got a lot going on, y'all, a whole lot going on, and, and uh, it's couldn't be a couldn't be a better time of the year that's for sure it's the off season but uh we've got to get a lot done and uh, because 2023 is right around the corner it's already almost december <laughs> you know uh, the race season starts uh, in february so yeah charles caris just called everybody clowns no i would never do that uh, Andrew Arnett joining us. Andrew, I hope you're dry and, and uh, on the on nice firm a nice firm ground, not on the ocean. Andrew uh, Andrew is a fisherman out there in, uh, on, in the Atlantic. Glad you guys are watching, man. I do miss this show. I love I love doing this show, y'all. I, I know that I didn't do a whole lot this year and uh to be honest with you next year is going to be just as wild our, our schedule is you know the the schedule with 75 media is is just blowing up I, i'm i'm going to be gone a lot that's for sure so um uh, but i'm just going to keep you know pushing forward and and hoping that uh you know, you guys are enjoying the content. If, if there's anything that I can do better, please, I'm always open for constructive criticism. I definitely want to know how to how to be better, how to better show this sport off to the world. I want the world to know about the sport. So um, how can we do that, y'all? Help help me out. I'm, I'm doing the best I can, but I can't do it alone. So you know, who, who do you want to see on the show next, you know? I think uh, we can do pretty much anybody at, at this point. Well, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Message me if you got any uh, recommendations. Hit me up anytime. I'm serious. I love this sport, and uh, I could talk about rock bouncing all day long. <laughs> all day long and all night long. I just I could talk about rock bouncing, watch rock bouncing, I would drive a rock bouncer. In fact, it, it is my goal to build a street legal rock bouncer so I can drive it every day. I'm going to get out of here, y'all, but uh, I sure do appreciate everybody watching, and I'm looking forward to what's to come. I really am. I'm looking forward to more action. Looking out, look forward to hanging out with you guys more. Bradley Ricketts, is Timmy building another one? No, from what uh, what I've been told by Timmy, um, 
he is going to race circle track next year. He's got a new circle track car. You guys have been following. You've seen pictures of that. Um, uh, so that's going to be kind of his focus. Tyrant is a championship buggy, obviously. He just won a championship with it. Uh, Tyrant took a long time to get parts for, and it parts and so on, stuff like that, really haven't caught up yet. It still takes a lot of a long time for these guys to get parts, and uh, Timmy doesn't want to have to do that again. So, uh, from what he's told me, at, and he explained it too. If you go back, if you scroll down or go to YouTube, go to YouTube and search on the hill with Nick, uh, Tim Cameron Racing, and just a couple of weeks ago, I had him on the show, and he explained why he's not going to be building a new buggy. Go back and check it out. But it's pretty much comes down to circle track, new circle track car, and getting in the circle track, uh, and not being able to get parts as easily as uh, he used to be able to, for sure. So, all right, y'all, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope uh, uh, Andrew says good, Nick. Hope all is well. Everything is great, Andrew. I appreciate you stopping by, Nick Reich. Great job. Thanks, man. Bradley. I hope everybody has a great evening. We'll see everybody soon.